hello friends back into the uh, back into the other video on the cell properties in excel sheet okay and here we are going to discuss about three main uh, uh, activities that is read cell read cell formula and uh, read color of the cell okay so yeah i have taken one empty sequence and i have used this excel application here and I'm going to point it to the actual Excel application which I'm planning to use. Okay, so this is book two. Then what I am going to do here is um, let me do one thing. Um, let me do it from the scratch. Yeah. So I have this book two so what i'll do here is first i'll get i'll use that read cell okay so read cell is here let me open that worksheet here i have opened this worksheet here so i want to i want to get this data ui path okay so that into some variable and after that i will use it as part of the uh, workflow so how i am going to identify it is like it is present in the b column and second row so it will be like b2 and i am going to save that into a uh, variable that variable you can use it later on so it's like b2 and here result i am going to show it as data so once the data got created what i'll do is I'll do message box and I will display that value here just to show how the data is coming into this variable okay let me execute this started executing now you can see that particular cell that is b2 is having a path in excel sheet and we are getting that in in our workflow okay then if you have any doubt in read cell please do mention in um, in the comment section so that i can help you on this okay and the next one is next one i'm going to use is read formula read cell formula as you can see here so let me show this here you can see this cell is having value of 3 this cell is having value of 3 whereas this cell is a sum of those two values okay if i use read cell here i'll get i'll get uh sorry if i use read cell there one second I'll get 6 but if I use read formula here I'll get this formula okay let's explore the both and see this is f4 right f4 f4 and I'm going to save it into the variable called formula once that is done I'm going to use that message box just to show how the data is coming message box put it here and use that as formula good and run this now you can see that particular value we got it particular not the value sorry the formula that we got it if you want to get that particular value inside the formula what I will do is read cell. Same function. Here it will be like F4. F4. Okay. This is workbook, right? This is the one I have to use, Excel cell. F4. Good. 
then this output for this is like data okay that already is there it seems right yeah it's already there what i'll do is i'll just assign that to here and let me use that data and formula Execute it. Okay. Data. Data to string. I don't know. No, it is already available into the string. That's fine. Place. This is the variable I have created it. Formula. Formula dot to string. Let me see. Cannot add a system double to the system string. The variable variable is formula. Cut only right okay got it value i got uh, dot to string what i'll do is i'll show this data here okay you can see you got the particular cell value and inside that you got particular uh, function as well okay instead what i'll do is i'll show that how that color will work use this and uh, let me use this one this is a7 right so this is a7 a7 and this you create it as something like c okay and you can see that c is a color type this I want to show okay now let me use that here C dot to string and it has see how the value is coming now now you can see a that withdraw values like what is the percentage of each uh, each color to get this black it is showing okay here there is a one more uh, important thing C dot a B now you can see that a you can get that a directly here it seems then to string okay you get that particular a value only now we should have a b key g and c i think you understood this one yeah if you have any doubt in read cell read uh, formula read uh, uh, color please mention in in the comment section so that i can help you on this and if you want this work uh, workflow please mention your email id in the comment section so that i can send direct mail to you guys and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you